The next thing you want to do is research your destination. Get online, look at reviews of the hotel, check out maps and satellite imagery of the streets and the surrounding areas. Make sure your hotel's not backed up to a slum or something. You're looking for good neighborhoods in general and just to know the streets and the layout and how the hotel looks as you're approaching. Then check crime stats and the latest happenings in the area so you don't land in the middle of political upheaval like the Arab Spring. The UK Foreign Office has got a great website on destinations. They cover a lot of things that you might uh, be interested in on terrorism, crime, transportation, medical, and all that. When you do land, make sure you have cell signal. As you're exiting your airplane, pop that phone on, make sure you can get a signal. If you don't, first go get you some local money, currency, convert some currency, get some money for tips and from cabs, and then buy a local SIM card, buy prepaid minutes on that card, and get it going before you leave the airport. Do not exit the airport without a way to communicate with other people. Even if that means getting your luggage and just sitting down and fixing this, but don't go out without having a way to talk or text. Now, you exit the airport. If you got a driver meeting you, tell them not to have a sign with your name on it. Make up a fake name. Agree to it ahead of time. Make a three-digit number uh, or a three sets of letters that everybody knows. And then that way, you come down and you can just say it, see it and go to it and you didn't just tell everybody in the world who you are. If you're hailing a cab, do not take the first cab that comes up to you and chooses you. They're looking for wild-eyed tourists who just got off a long flight. They're going to come up to you and just say, hey, get in my cab. And, you know, no. Instead, you choose the cab. You make the choice. You look out there and say, I want that one. Always stay in control of decisions that affect you and your group. You don't know that might not be a real cab driver. It might just be an opportunistic criminal who takes you somewhere and steals stuff from you. When the cab does arrive, though, look for numbers and labeling on the outside. On the inside, look for a meter, look for a two-way radio and a badge, something that says, hey, this is an official cab. On the way to your hotel from the airport, drop a pin at your airport's location on your phone and then follow the route on your map as you go. So you know if you're going to the hotel or maybe you're going to this dude's house, you want that. These are all tips, whether you're domestic travel or international, because Crooks live everywhere, so go ahead and get a plan in place to deal with this.